what's up youtube and welcome back to the channel you are tuned in to another mental champion monday okay and today i'm here to talk to you all about being proud of yourself and being proud of yourself for the things you've accomplished different things that you've been through and just being proud of yourself just for making it through every single day i know this new retro game movement that's going on right now has a lot of people in a funk it has a lot of people unsure it has a lot of people in a weird state so just from us being able to handle one day and wake up and handle the next day, we should be proud of ourselves for that. We don't give ourselves enough credit. We don't give ourselves enough support for the things that we're doing on a daily basis to make it through each day. A lot of times we only want to be proud of ourselves once we accomplish that goal or we only want to be proud of ourselves once we have tackled whatever is in our way but we should be proud of ourselves for even taking the initiative to want to change we should be proud of ourselves for taking the initiative to setting goals taking the initiative to become aware of the things that are changing our moods and changing how we think and changing our perspectives and incorporating that new knowledge in a way to help us become better people we should be proud of ourselves just for that we should be proud of ourselves for getting up in the morning getting our day started like Celebrate those little achievements. Celebrate those little things so that you are continued to be motivated to go ahead and accomplish that big dream, accomplish that big goal, or get whatever it is in your way. Move that obstacle, but you can't put yourself in a position or it's not mentally okay to put yourself in a position where you don't feel like you're good enough or you don't feel like you've accomplished enough because every day that you wake up, you have. You've accomplished something new every day that some people don't even get the opportunity to do so i think instead of waking up and feeling depressed or waking up and feeling so drained just by the things that we have to do today find a way to celebrate everything that you get done okay find a way to be proud of yourself for the things that you've went through think about your challenges think about your obstacles think about the things that have tried to set you back haven't you made it through that aren't you a better person because of that you should be proud you should wear being proud on your chest you should wear being proud on your shoulders all the time to remind yourself that i've been through this i've survived this i've conquered this so i can do whatever else is coming my way being proud gives you that little bit of confidence that you need being proud gives you so much that you need in life to achieve and succeed okay so don't be afraid to be proud of yourself some people will tell you like you shouldn't celebrate everything or you should be happy about the things that you're accomplishing why not why not be proud of yourself for the little things? That, and my thing too, be proud of yourself for the mistakes you've made. Be proud of yourself for the things that you've done that you feel like have not helped you get to your goals. Be proud of yourself for being able to acknowledge it. That's the first thing about being a mental champion is becoming aware of the things that put you in certain moods or becoming aware of things that make you feel a certain type of way. So just being able to obtain that new awareness, you obtain that new awareness and you obtain that new lesson from making mistakes, from doing things in a way that shouldn't have been done or for not listening or not turning in something by a deadline or not accomplishing a goal. Be proud of yourself for being able to become aware of how that's made you feel, okay? That's gonna make you a greater person. So when I say be proud of your mistakes or be proud of the things that you didn't achieve, it's so that you are able to learn the lessons from those experiences and put them into something new to help you become a better person. That's what I mean by being proud of that. Now, don't go around and mess up everything and, and still be proud of your screw ups. No, be proud of the lessons that they teach you. Be proud of the growth that you get from those situations. Be proud of what they teach you, okay? and don't be afraid to be your own cheerleader don't be afraid to cheer for yourself you have to because if nobody else is going to cheer for you you've got to do it for yourself because if you don't do it then who will see people especially now they cheer for the things once they become successful so you'll have people that'll clap for you once you make it but not all those people are going to have your back in the process of you getting those things done just because they don't see the results they may not understand your vision they may not understand how big it is going to be once you accomplish that goal but once you accomplish that goal they'll clap for you once you accomplish that goal then they'll tell you how proud of you they are but you have to keep yourself motivated to get that done use yourself as motivation wake up and want to give yourself a reason to be proud of yourself every single day and on your toughest days or days when you just feel like the the hardship would never end the to-do list is just getting longer and longer you have more and more stuff to do as you lay down that night, be proud of yourself for making it through that day. Regardless if you got everything done or not, be proud of yourself just for making it through the day. 
be proud of yourself for just being able to make it through the situation because sometimes it's so hard for people to make it through that day or make it through when they feel like the world is on their shoulders or they have so much to do. It'll put you in a state of feeling overwhelmed. And for all my entrepreneurs and business owners, I'm gonna do a special video about different techniques that I've taken on to make sure that I'm not being overwhelmed by my to-do list or my entrepreneurship. So be on the lookout for that video, but having all that weight of running your own business and being your own entrepreneur, even working your job and having a lot to do, that to-do list will instantly put you in a mode of, damn, I gotta get this done and I don't know how it's gonna get done. So it puts you in a state of worry. It raises your anxiety and now you can't even focus on being present. You can't focus on being positive. Don't allow what you can't control, control you. I say that a lot and I mean that. I mean that because we'll let our to-do list, we'll let our jobs, we'll let any everything else that we have to do control us. And then we can't even take a moment to look back and see what we've accomplished to be proud of ourselves, okay? So take the small necessary steps that you need to make sure that you're proud of yourself every single day. I think that is so important in being successful. I think that is so important in being a mental champion. It's just very important to succeed in life, is to be proud of yourself, okay? It's not being overconfident. It's not being cocky it's not being any of those things as long as you do it in the right sense to let yourself know i'm do doing this because i'm proud of myself i'm not doing this to brag and boast to other people about the things that i've getting done i'm bragging and boasting to myself i'm doing this for me so that i can make sure that i wake up every day with positive intentions to go and get the next thing done so it's not nothing that you should be ashamed of don't let other people talk you down about being proud of yourself because they're not proud of themselves be proud of yourself and then see how much of that positive energy is going to translate into those people's life and then before you know it they'll be walking around proud of themselves too and accomplish the things that they didn't know that they can accomplish just from your positive energy being so contagious okay so don't be afraid to spread the positivity don't be afraid to be proud of yourself don't let other people talk you down for being proud of yourself and don't limit how much you're proud of yourself don't limit the amount of proud that you put in yourself okay um I'm telling you, man, that'll give you so much motivation. It'll just put you in such a happier place if you just figure out a way to be your own cheerleader and be proud of yourself every single day. Wake up and accomplish things and smile. And um, even when it's tough, even when it's tough in the middle of the day, say I have like, I'm looking at my to-do list and I'm checking, I've checked four things off and now I got a phone call and now I have to add four more things to that. You got to look at that list and smile and say, the work is never done. That's giving me more opportunity to teach others. This is giving me more opportunity to do the thing that I love to do. This is giving me more opportunity to um, really give myself to whatever is needed, okay? It is my chance to spread my message and spread my positivity and spread my service and spread my work amongst those who need it, okay? Find the positive in your to-do list. Find the positive in the things that you have to do today. And even if you cannot find the positive on it, when you lay down at night, be proud of yourself just for making it through that day, through that hard day, through that hard situation, okay? Because you did it, and you should be proud of that. I hope you all have enjoyed this Mental Champion Monday video. Make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. You're going to love the new Mental Champion Monday. As always, if you have anything that you want me to cover, anything that you want to talk about, anything that you feel needs to be discussed, feel free to leave it in the comments. Reach out to me on all my social media platforms. Instagram right here at Breeze of the G. Make sure you're following the Never Surrender Studio on Instagram at Never Surrender Studio. Also on Facebook at Never Surrender Studio. And check out our website at www.neversurrenderstudios.com. I thank you all for all the love and support, man. It's always a pleasure to come out here and speak. And every Monday, just give people motivation to guide them through the week so that they can obtain that championship mentality at the end of the week and so that they can develop that mental champion mentality at the beginning and stay motivated to achieve that at the end of the week. So I thank you all for tuning into this video. I thank you all for sharing these videos. And I thank you all for commenting and showing me all of your love and support. As always, man, I'll see y'all next week.